Owning a dog is a responsibility to be taken seriously. There may be some things you do that your furry friend secretly hates. Dogs often tolerate these behaviors because they are very loyal and easygoing. In this video, we'll discuss the top 15 things that dogs hate about humans. Being rushed at potty time. Dogs want to be able to take their time when they go out to potty. Aside from doing their business, they also like to have some time to explore and sniff. Instead of rushing your dog, train them to come back when they are done. This is easily done with treats and positive reinforcement. Badly timed walks. Make sure you pay attention to your dog's cues. If it is too hot or too cold out, a walk may not be the best idea. Oftentimes, humans like a midday walk, but keep in mind that in the middle of summer, the pavement could be scorching hot and very uncomfortable on your dog's paws. In the winter, you will want to make sure that the temperature is not too cold and that there is a place to walk where the snow is not cumbersome. Dogs can get snow in between their toes, making it painful to walk. Poor nail trimming. It takes a bit of confidence to trim your dog's nails yourself. If you are not sure how to do it properly, it is better left to a professional. If you cut your dog's nails too short, you will be cutting their quick, a blood vessel, a nerve found in the nail. This can result in a lot of blood and it hurts your dog. On the flip side, if the nails are too long after clipping, they can get in the way of your dog's walking and can cause pain. Deserting and isolating. Dogs are pack animals. When they are in the wild, they do everything together and they are loyal to the pack. For a domestic dog, you are the leader of their pack. When you are not able to spend enough time with your dog, they can develop separation anxiety. Make sure that you take them for walks and give them lots of attention when you can. If you work longer hours, it is a good idea to have someone stop in and check on your pet. You could also take them to a doggy daycare now and then, so they can socialize with other animals and humans while you are away. Hugging. Even though it's tempting, full body hugs aren't good for dogs. A hug is usually threatening or unwelcome to them, especially if they feel trapped. Dogs are not human, so having someone come up and wrap their arms around their body or neck may be disconcerting. Most dogs will allow trusted people to hug them, but that does not mean that they all enjoy it in the way that a human does. Rather than hugging a dog, let the dog lean into you and pet them on their back and chest. A tight leash. Dogs get irritated if they are being pulled on their leash all the time. It is painful and can injure them. A dog can easily be leash trained with the use of a proper harness and positive reinforcement. There is no need to have to tug on the leash when the dog knows his limits and is rewarded when they can heal. Deviating from the schedule. Dogs are creatures of habit. They get accustomed to a schedule and come to expect certain things at certain times. Try to have a regular schedule for everything, from feeding to playtime. A dog depends on routine and may experience anxiety if it is not followed. If you do not follow a routine, it is important to make one and then stick to it. No opportunity to explore. Dogs need their exercise and love going on walks. But going for a walk and not having a chance to explore is no fun at all. Dogs see the world primarily through scent. Rushing your dog through a walk without allowing them to stop is unkind. If you think about it, it's like someone taking you to your favorite store without letting you stop and looking at things. If it happens often, it will be pretty frustrating. Making them apologize. Many people think that dogs know when they have done something wrong because they look guilty. But in reality, your dog isn't sorry that they have chewed your shoes or knocked over your plants. Scientists believe that dogs can't feel complex emotions such as guilt or shame. Your dog is just reacting to your body language and the tone of your voice. They appear scared or upset because you are angry at them. Instead of being upset with them, work more on training the behaviors you want to see. Your house has scents they hate. Dogs have about a 1,000 to 10,000 of your ability to perceive scents. There are smells that we may barely notice, but they could be very annoying to your dog. Try to minimize perfumes, cleaning products, vinegar, chili peppers, and citrus scents. This is not to say these items can't be in your house at all, 
but you should provide a place for your dog where the scents would not be a problem. For instance, if you are in the kitchen cooking with chili peppers, your dog should have a comfortable bed away from the area where they can relax. Inconsistency. Dogs do not always understand what we want from them, so it is important to be consistent. If you use one command and gesture for sit, but someone in the house uses something different, it is much harder for the dog to know what we want them to do. Make sure that you all use the same hand signals and verbal commands with your dog so they know what you want. Giving mixed signals will confuse and frustrate your pet. Bath time. Dogs hate getting a bath due to a variety of reasons. Their aversion to bathing goes far beyond the concept of getting wet. They might hate the smell of the shampoo or they might be afraid of the running water. Baths can also bring back scary memories. Most dogs will tolerate a bath if you ease them into the experience. Phrases. Keep it simple. Dogs can be trained to learn a lot of things, but remember, they do not understand the human language. Commands with too many words confuse and frustrate them. Use keywords rather than long phrases and reinforce these words with gestures and body language. Past trauma. The Humane Society speculates that some dogs are born with certain fears. They can also develop fear from past trauma. Most dogs fear loud noises and any loud and unfamiliar sound may startle them. Some people think it is funny that a dog barks at the vacuum cleaner, but exposing your canine companion to this noise can be torture to them. Yelling at your dog is another way that creates anxiety and stress. Speak in a calm and reassuring voice and offer treats to encourage your pet. Dogs can also be afraid of thunderstorms and fireworks. You can't control forces of nature, but you should avoid taking your pet to places where their fears may intensify. Dressing your dog. Don't buy clothes for your pet just because they may look cute in them. When it is cold, you may want to dress your dog for walks, but also keep in mind that they have fur to help regulate their body temperature. If you do live in a colder climate and choose to use a jacket, ensure that it is not restrictive. 